souvenir. I support you. I'm voting for him. What is most important for you in these elections? Getting Obama out of the White House. Repealing Obamacare. If you look at his record, I disagree that he's more electable because Newt is a Christian conservative. He has the, uh, the experience that, that we need in the Oval Office because he has been there with Ronald Reagan, he's been there with George Bush, and he, he just knows how to, he knows how to get things done. And bravo, bravo. We, that's, that's one of the reasons we love Newt. We love Israel. Do you fight with the, the message? I do not believe the liberal media. And I think that they have really socked it to Newt since that John King interview on CNN. I don't really trust Romney. I'm sorry. I think Romney is selling his soul to the devil because he's got lots of money. And King is just not going to do that. And I hope all the Catholics, all the evangelists, go behind Kingridge and fight for Kingridge so he can win this country back. Our country. Not the president country. It's our country. And it's about time we stay, stand firm and fight for our country. Let me try to sell my house because I can't afford the cost and I can't sell it. I cannot get a job because, well, you're too old. Okay? But, and I'm willing to do anything to work. But it's hard to find it. And you know, our kids are having a hard time finding work. And we need to push our kids to learn the value of the money. This is what Newt Gingrich wants. He wants us off food stamps. I'm not on food stamps. I couldn't get them because I make $50 too much a year. Okay? And if Newt Gingrich will lose primaries, well, what are you going to do? I don't know. Romney reminds me of Obama. We don't want another four years of Obama. And that scared the living out of me and a lot of people. You, you, know, let, you know, I'm tired of the elite and the rich people putting us, middle people, down. They are not that dumb and they're not that stupid. We listen, we hear. Even though we're trying to be swayed one way or another by the media, we can still sort it out. We read, we look, we listen, we hear. We just want to make a very educated guess to get the right person this time into the old office. It's the whole process, electoral process. I am just so lucky and so blessed to be in the middle of it. And this wouldn't happen where I, if I had retired up north, I wouldn't be involved. But they're all coming to Florida. And I just have to take advantage of it. And I just think it's marvelous. I don't like what they're doing necessarily. I don't like all the candidates. And I want them to play fair and nice. But that's my kindergarten experience. Everybody has to get along. Nick Romney from my home state of Massachusetts. He thinks he's playing as a Republican, but really, underneath his uniform, he's a Democrat. I am so disappointed in him. Why? Because I want smaller government, he wants bigger government. And the only way he can achieve this is that, well, let's pour more money into it. Hey, I'm a retired school teacher from Washington, D.C. I live on a pension. I count my pennies. If I can't afford it, hey. I'll say for it. If I can't afford it, it's a necessity, like the car is broken down, I need to fix it, I'll put it on the credit card. But no credit card of mine for a whole year or two has ever had any interest paid by me. I didn't ask for anything. He didn't offer anything. My only expectation is to be able to help him win the nomination in the White House. That's all. You know, it is difficult for some people to comprehend that not everybody has a political objective or political motive when they want to do something to help save this country. That's my mission. That's my path. I heard of a brand new poll that came out about an hour ago that says we are now tied 35-35. Out of touch with, with honesty that Mitt Romney is capable of being. And that's why I was so glad that Michael Reagan has taken in our lifetime. Oh, okay. Re-electing Barack Obama will be a disaster of the first order and will permanently weaken this country. And therefore, we have to defeat him, period. And the question is, who could best defeat him? I am unalterably opposed to the use of Sharia in any American court. I'm comfortable with legal immigrants of every background, including Islam, who want to become American. I have no confusion in my mind 
about our background, our laws, our civilization. If they wish to join us, that's fine. We are not going to accept Sharia. We are not going to accept the embassy. Instructing the State Department to open an embassy in Jerusalem. There are three bills they've been holding at the desk that they can just put right down there. And on the very first day, we have repealed Obamacare, repealed Dodd-Frank, repealed Sarbanes-Oxley. And that's just for openers. power of executive order. I already mentioned one to end the war against religion. A second executive order, actually the very first executive order I'm going to sign, will abolish all of the White House czars as it is. Money power can't buy people power. People power depends on conservatism and we are determined to take back our own country from the very people. Who